Some men are born great. Some men achieve greatness. And some men have greatness thrust upon them. Shakespeare is the most quoted man to have walked the earth. And I chose him as my inspirational artist because... Because you always do the right thing, Tessa Lou. Since first grade, you've been on a collision course with greatness. You come from a nice family, you always know the perfect thing to say, and the perfect way to act. I mean, I even voted for you for class president. Twice. And you were perfect. Perfect. Perfect presentation. Thank you, Miss Gibbons. Mm -hmm. So, wouldn't it be perfect if this story was about Tessa Lou? But it's not. It's about me. Caitlin McKay. You're next on my list. Uh... Have you selected your inspirational artists? Uh... Have you researched quotes uh... from said artists? No, Miss Gibbons. I have not decided yet, but I do feel that Britney Spears inspires me, and she did say, ding dang y'all, I'm rich. It's weird, but I'm really rich. I mean, ding dang y'all. <laughs> Free Britney. Caitlin, you had better begin to take this seriously. This assignment is for the entire term. And if you don't finish the assignment, I will have to see your face in my class. Again. <laughs> Well, be careful. Miss Gibbons can make your life miserable. Adam King, we've always gone to school together. We've always been best friends. Always. Did you see Tessa today? Ooh. Oh, God. He's really smart, but now that he's 13, all he can think about is girls. When Tessa Lee was talking today, oh my gosh, she is so hot. And what she said, some have greatness thrust upon them. You wanted to thrust your greatness upon her? No. Okay, fine, I'll pick, yeah. Who'd you pick for your inspirational artist? I'm not gonna do it. Oh, come on, Kay. You gotta do it. No, I don't. My parents just got divorced, and I'm in a period of emotional upheaval. I mean, just ask the school therapist. You can't keep trading on that, you know. Watch me, fanboy. Smell you later. Smell you later. Pat Litch. Divorce is like Christmas to a real estate agent, trading on people's emotion and misery. Great business. Hey, Pat, can I get this back to you? Oh, sure. It's gonna be great. Thank you. Hey, honey. So I'm losing my dad and my house in the same year? You're not losing your dad. We're getting a divorce, honey. And you knew about selling the house. Yeah, well, I'm not moving to West Lynn or wherever. Well, we won't be moving till after the summer, so you'll be out to see the school year out. I'm not going. This is my house. It'll be good. Kat, I promise. I guess everyone lies to themselves. Hey, have you seen your brother? Huh? Do you walk home together anymore? Nope, haven't seen him. Hey, Kat, the Lashers are coming over for dinner, so do your homework. Ben Lasher, or should I say Captain Ben, has been my mom's boss for years now. My mom's a detective with the Portland police. Although born in dry as dirt, Ben and his wife are nice people, I guess. I always suspected they helped my mom out financially here and there. So Matt, you think the Blazers are gonna win everything this year? Right to Maddie. Hey. I don't know. Well, I happen to know that the Celtics are coming to town, and, you know, I got some pretty good seats. Thought you might want to come with me. It's nice. Sure. Thank you. Ben, you have a gift for Caitlin, too. Why don't you go get it? Great idea. I left it in the truck. Be right back. 
I knew what it was. I couldn't wait. It was the only thing I'd asked my mom for. There was no way she could forget that night I asked. It was a Wednesday night, and my father said, Your mother and I are... We're getting a divorce. All's fair in love and war. And divorce is exactly that. Please. I had wanted an iPhone forever. But I would settle for whatever cell phone he gave me. These are for you. Birds. They're pigeons. Racing pigeons. You should have just given me chickens. Chickens? Yeah, at least I could eat those. <laughs>